I just heard it's a secret that's about to come out about somebody who's been trying to overshadow your intuition, somebody who's been trying to dim your light, somebody who has come in between you and your twin, somebody who really, you know, made it satisfying for your twin to hop on a shit brick road to turn back into a karmic because you was like Superman or Superwoman and, you know, you helped them to actualize their spiritual journey you set you helped for it to be placed right in front of them because you are a part of that journey i'm hearing y'all could have came together later in life y'all could have really you know started your journey later in life i'm hearing y'all had glimpses of one another in your um early childhood in your early um uh, teens or 20s or something like that and somebody did some candle magic to separate y'all okay somebody did some candle magic to separate y'all somebody has some sage right now and you need to be clearing some toxic energy in your personal spaces you should be taking a spiritual bath you should be out in the sun you should be up under the moonlight and you should be heavy in prayer i'm seeing you know your twin is a beautiful soul. You know, they started out in some divine energy. You hear me? They did when it came to you. All karmic energy was shed, okay? This person looked at you as being a, a divine counterpart. They was happy in this connection with you. They looked at you um, in the 3D and in the 5D, and they were absolutely satisfied and something shook their world up and the g's want you to know all is about to be well what's up y'all y'all already know what i'm here to do i'm here to hip you to what you already hip to and to hip you on to what may be hidden and it's this secret that's gonna come out i don't know it's some water energy but some it's, it's some emotions are running high right now because this secret is go who let the who let the gate open? Who let the dam open? The dam, the flood, god damn it. Yeah, somebody about to be in their feelings and crying because it's a karmic, a major karmic, you know what I'm saying, who was happy. I'm talking about happy about fucking up your relationship, y'all. You know, if you don't like cussing, you can go on and click off. If you feel like, you know, you don't care nothing about your twin flame journey, then you can click off too is what the G's is saying because either way it go, either way it go, it's going to be something to happen in your life real soon that is going to help you to remain positive and to affirm the clearance of negative energy and to remove blockages within your twin flame connection, okay? I'm hearing something about green pastures, okay? Uh, why buy the beef? Why buy the cow when I got the beef at home or something? Somebody is about to take action. I'm hearing, and it's, it's, they're, they're, I'm seeing some essential oils, and I'm seeing a candle being dressed, okay? This is somebody who is using some dark forces, all right? This is somebody who's using some dark forces, What's good, y'all? What's up with the kids? Somebody's daughter, right? Somebody's daughter. <laughs> well, of course, your twin is somebody's daughter. But there is a karmic mother, a karmic father, who has done a lot of damage in this twin flame connection. There's some secrets that's about to come out about that. Somebody's third eye is... is, is heavily open and when i say heavily open i mean and they heavy on their intuition and they they seeing everything clearly they seeing this fake energy they seeing this playful energy i'm seeing some water energy i'm seeing pisces cancer scorpio energy that could be you that could be your twin or that could be that could be this main contributor to the fucked off ass energy who felt as though it was going to be some irreconcilable damages that was done okay Three times, three times, three times, three. Whatever negativity you send to me goes back to the three times, three times, three times, three. Somebody says, don't play with me. 
don't play with me. I feel like it's a conversation being had and somebody wants somebody wants you to give it to them straight. No chaser. It could be over drinks too, right? You could be wanting somebody to divulge some information and, and keep the karmic shit on the low. You know what I'm saying? Hold the karmic shit, right? Trade. Somebody traded. They did. They traded seats. They traded seats because somebody was in the hot seat. Somebody was in the hot seat. Hold on, y'all. Yep, somebody was in the hot seat, okay? Somebody was holding on to some information, and it was the truth. Somebody was holding on to some information, and it was the truth. And then I'm hearing somebody is jealous because somebody has been speaking the truth. That says they are jealous, okay? But they, like, hold the bullshit. Petty, weak-ass energy. Hold the bullshit. I just want you to keep it real with me. Hmm. I just want, look, I just want you to keep it real with me. I love you so much. Somebody is in some jilted energy. Somebody is widowed. Somebody could have, you know, been left at the altar. Somebody done placed you on the altar, though. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Look, here goes some twin flame energy that they felt as though wasn't going to come to pass. Yeah, that's what the G's are saying. Family. Family. So I love you so much. Your twin, you know, you could be finding out that your twin's family ain't shit. You hear me? And they comfortable in their karmic energy. You could be finding that out. You could be finding out that your twin's family was, you know, had it, it, they they brought they brought on, you know, this disguise as like they were for the betterment of the both of y'all. Y'all could have been having like some, I'm hearing when it comes to you, like, like some negative energy. It could be, you know, like some illnesses. I'm hearing it can be some uh, onset of some um, uneven energy when it comes to finances is what I'm hearing. Okay. Somebody is, you know, feeling like they left all alone is what I'm hearing. And they... They they was feeling like they was going to be left all alone. So they devised a plan to come in between this um, divine couple is what I'm hearing. This is a family member. So. Wait. <clears throat> so when it comes to this family, this family, you know, they in some dark energy. This family... I'm hearing whoever this family member is, you know, they was holding a lot against this queen energy. It could be some king energy as well, you know, but they were holding a lot against your twin. They were very jealous of them and they were highly envious of um, their creative abilities, you know, their, their staying power, um, how they were able to, you know, form these bonds and these these relationships, you know, and I heard something about a Rolex. Somebody could have, you know, been well off, you know, could have been taking care of um, this family member of theirs, you know, and they were jealous. They're karmic. They're karmic. So somebody want to tell you something. They want to tell you something. I miss you. And then I'm hearing, you know, this this new, this brand new energy, a, a brand new funk, this new energy that's being ushered in, you know, somebody has reached the climax. They're reaching their peak. They're reaching their peak. It's, 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 it's a lot that's peaking their interest when it comes to this family member. You hear me? Mm. So, yeah. They irritated as fuck with this family member. This is somebody that, you know, they could have had a lot of respect for. Somebody that, you know, they felt as though had your best interest at heart, too. But they discussed it with, you know, the communication that's coming from them. It's some foul energy. You hear me? They trying to throw you up under the bus. They, you know, they um, being over imaginative. They lying on you. It's, it's an ultimate act of betrayal coming from this family. 
that's why this I love you so much is in the reverse, you know, because there's some lies that's it's a secret that's coming out about sabotage. It is a lie that is that has come to the surface. You hear me? Someone could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm hearing family it could be Earth energy, Virgo, uh, Capricorn. Um, excuse me, y'all. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus don't have to be. I'm seeing water energy as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it's a lot of toxic energy and. When it comes to, you know, what they really wanted you to lean towards, you know what I'm saying? They wanted you to take action and be fulfilled of, be and have this, this fulfilling energy when it comes to some karmic energy, you know? It's like they was filling your head, is what I'm hearing. It, yeah, they was filling your head, they was pumping your head with the information that they felt as though that you wanted. You know, because, you know, somebody was uh, was, was scared about um, sexual intimacy. Mm, excuse me. My bad, y'all. Water energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody was scared about sexual in intimacy, okay? This came out reverse and it hit the floor, so I'm not going to... um. Look, and that says love and happiness. Who will I choose? You know, whoever these family members are, they had you thinking that your, your twin was a hoe and out here scattering, scattering their energy. It could also be some friends. You know, and I'm I'm hearing, you know, they, they fake as hell because they invited you and your new person. They invited you and your new person to a, a family gathering and didn't, invite, and didn't invite your twin. What? type of motherfucker and that was a red flag for you i'm here or should be a red flag for you because when, when it comes to you being over the top and when it comes to you know bearing gifts that's what they counting on as well it's you know it's a lavish energy that they trying to um separate you and your twin from you hear me it's a lavish energy it's an opulent energy that they trying to separate y'all from i'm hearing both sides both sides sexual demons both sides so <clears throat> you can have somebody in your ear you hear what i'm saying it could be you know this is planned this is planned this is a planned affair they could be inviting you. Okay, if they're not inviting you and your new person, you could probably say, no, I'm not going to bring my new person. You could have, you know, an ounce of respect or something. And you could be traveling alone, but they're going to try to hook you up with your twin's family member or one of your twin's friends. You hear me? Because they feel as though they know what would be appealing to your eye, what would appease your appetite, your sexual appetite. They want to arouse some sexual demons. This is what this says. Sexual demons, third party. Look, blessing in disguise, blessing in disguise, temporary setback, disturbed that, you know, with them inviting.